Hi, my name is Nick Cook. I'm a member of the psychology team at the Optimum Health Clinic. Today, I'm going to talk a bit about developing your inner coach. We're probably all more than aware of the nagging voice inside our head that puts us down, compares us to others, tells us we're not good enough, and generally gives us a hard time. This voice is our inner critic. We can find out a bit more about this character in this video. But today, we're talking about discovering and developing our inner coach. Have a think. Compared to giving yourself a hard time, how often do you give yourself a pat on the back or say well done to yourself? For most of us, the answer is unfortunately, hardly ever. Just try this with me. In a moment, we're going to take a pause, come to the present, and then congratulate ourselves for making this choice. I'll then give you a three, two, one count, and under your breath, simply say pause and press your hand to your heart. Three, two, one, pause. Just feeling yourself ground through breath and through body, pushing your feet into the floor, wriggling your fingers, wriggling your toes, and taking two deep, calming breaths. And now, under your breath, just say well done to yourself. What did that final bit feel like? Weird? uncomfortable, maybe even a little bit emotional. It's something we just don't do enough. But by developing our inner coach, we can create an incredibly powerful and useful, useful resource for ourselves. One of the key aspects of developing our inner coach is to recognize what type of questions are useful to ask ourselves and which are not. So examples of not so useful questions might be, why do I feel so ill? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do wrong? Why can't I ever get it right? Why can't I ever move forward? Why does this always happen to me? How do these sorts of questions leave you feeling? Do they make you feel inspired, resourceful, and feel of really, full of really good answers? Or do they make you feel small, worthless, and just wanting to hide away. By asking more useful questions, we can find the answers and the resources within ourselves. Some more helpful questions might be, what can I do to help myself be in a healing state? How can I respond to this situation calmly? Who do I need to support me today? What would my future recovered self say to me now to help me stay motivated? What would feel grounding for me right now? Maybe spend some time noting down helpful questions that you can start asking yourself. Coaching ourselves doesn't always come easily or naturally to us though, unlike critiquing ourselves. It can be useful to have someone in your mind to be your inner coach. This could be an inspirational teacher you had, a best friend, family member, even if you're one of those people that others always ask for you for advice, that version of yourself. For me, it's my maternal grandfather, who although now gone, is still a great source of strength and reassurance to me. He always seemed to know what to say when he was alive. And now, in my head, he does too. If you can't think of anyone real, make one up. It doesn't matter as it's that wisest part of you we're looking to access. Use historical or fictional characters. It really doesn't matter. What about Gandalf, Yoda or Dumbledore? So, in summary, start getting into the habit of consciously saying well done to yourself when you do something well that's good for you or you make a resource choice. 
Think about helpful questions that you can ask yourself that make you feel inspired, resourced, and support your healing. Create your coach in your head. Give them a life, a voice, and let them start helping you. Working to help you find and develop your own inner coach is just part of the role of the psychology team. Head over to the clinic website, www.theoptimumhealthclinic.com for more resources, to register for a free information pack and to arrange a discovery call with one of the team.